This is sick. <laughs> Reaction. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Lights, Camera, Reaction, aka LCR. It's Milo Mannheim here. And we're about to have some fun. LCR is all about positivity. We're about spreading love, kind of finding undiscovered talent, pairing it with cool people, lifting everybody up. We make the world a better place. That's what we're about here. Um, but today, I'm actually really excited about this video. We're about to watch Milo Mannheim and Whitney Carson dance a contemporary dance on the show Dancing with the Stars. Now, newsflash, I'm Milo Mannheim. Surprise, surprise. So I wanted to kind of like go back and react to this video and maybe like see things maybe I hadn't noticed, but also give you some insight that maybe you wouldn't be able to get from just watching the show. Um, and I also want to say that since doing the show, I have not heard any of the judges reactions to any of the dances since I heard them live. I haven't seen any of the packages of the dances. A package, by the way, is a two minute video that the production team will put together um, before your dance goes on. But I'm really excited to get into this and to yeah, look at it all and go through memory lane and maybe give you guys some insight. And also, just a reminder, if at any point you are sparked and get inspired to watch something else, um, leave a comment because we'd love to react to that as well. Um, and just, yeah, I wanna hear about your journey watching this video as well. So keep us posted all below. Um, and that's it. Let's do this thing. All right. Love you guys. I'm kind of nervous to get back in this. We're going down memory lane. And uh, I was 17 when I did this show. So don't judge anything I do or say too seriously. Love you guys. Milo Mannheim and Whitney trained to take us inside a spooky sanitarium with Party a creepy contemporary routine. This is the path. What is this place? Okay, it's week six. Okay. It's Halloween week. All right, this is my week. I miss yeah. her. I love creepy. I love the suspense of Halloween. You know, you don't know what's around the corner. I love haunted houses. People are gonna jump out. Foreshadowing Thanksgiving, which by the way, you should go see in theaters if you hadn't seen it, but it's fine, whatever. Shameless plug. I love the rush of Halloween. I don't really get scared. Mm. Yes, you do. No, I'm I don't. So I young. really don't. That's funny because like a couple days. Okay. Too shy. Too shy. That was a good try. Maybe next time. I'll get you. <gasps> okay. We'll get I miss Whitney. Yeah, we'll get that. I miss Whitney. Okay, so the She's song the that we're dancing to this week Big is sis. a really creepy version of Toxic. It's going to be perfect for Halloween. Week. I'm into it. The creative behind it is... Okay, first of all, I feel like I have to let you guys know about this package. The package, every week, a producer is, like, attached to you. And the producer films everything that you're dancing the whole week. And they kind of like just come up with like a two minute video that they play before you dance to just get the audience sort of engaged. Whether that's an emotional thing, whether it's just, you know, funny watching you dance or there's like some other made up story. So I think the producer this week, his name was Adam Raya. He was really fun and funny, but he had this idea that like I got possessed or something. I don't even really remember. We'll get into it, but it's coming back to me now really creepy you're in an insane asylum and your mind is meshing with you and you're battling hallucinations so can you pull this off for me watch this contemporary dance is extremely creepy probably the creepiest dance i've ever choreographed i'm remembering this type it. of dance is just a whole different category from everything me and whitney have done so far it's strange don't, don't, don't. It's just such a disturbing dance. It's for sure put me in a weird mood. Did you hear that? Hi, what are you looking at? No, I, th I thought I saw something. Oh, okay. I just missed this. I think the dance is starting to mess with this head. Pop, 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 One, two, three, four. No, stop. I feel like I'm starting to see things. I'm starting to hear weird things. Let's all right, I'm not even saying anything because I'm just watching this and remembering it all, but we just... I just remember this day so vividly. We went to this old warehouse just to like get these shots and like do these things, but it all comes together. Fine, so that was perfect. No, not good. We'll get to the dance, you guys. Sorry, what you need the backstory. It's really important. starting to creep me out. They really tried to make me creepy. The least intimidating, squeaky 17 year old boy ever. 
I love this dance. We're getting into it. Contemporary. Baby, can't you see? I'm calling. A guy like you should wear a warning. It's dangerous. I'm falling. I want to let this run, but let me just say a couple things before we start. Whitney Carson is not only an incredible dancer, but she's an incredible choreographer and she's an incredible creative and she's an incredible teacher. Uh, it's one thing to just be a good dancer. It's another thing to create good dances. It's another thing to be short, teaching a very tall 17 year old boy those dances that you created and then have a whole story on top of it and create this really cool you know, imagery as well. Whitney is obviously an incredible choreographer and dancer, but she doesn't get enough credit creatively. And I wanted to say that. In a contemporary dance, there's really not very many rules. Uh, in all the other types of ballroom dances, you know, you have to hold your frame and there's, you know, depending on what dance it is, different guidelines you have to follow, if you will. But with a contemporary, um, there's a lot, there are rules, but there's a lot more room I guess, for interpretation. It's very like lyrical and freestyle-y, I guess. Maybe there are no rules. I don't know. Who knows? There's no escape. So sharp. Now that I'm like, it's been five years since I've done this. And now that I've spent time away from it, looking back on it, I can see it kind of objectively and I can watch it not as myself. And it's pretty good. I gotta say, it's a pretty cool dance. I owe it all to Whitney. And this is why I think, this is my favorite dance that I did. And this is why I think it is, is because there are moments in this dance that Whitney and I started working on week one. Uh, there were things in this that like, it takes a lot of time to get down. So we worked on it week one and then come week eight, I think this was, or I don't know, we had two months of practice working on that thing. Um, and yeah, this dance is really sharp and intense and that's what I like. And I'm really happy that we had that opportunity to do it. Sorry, I'm talking so much. One hand? That's hard. Wow, Whitney. Okay. That dance is awesome. Um, I think that like really looking back on it, it's so weird to have this time and space, but Whitney is such an amazing choreographer and the story is super, I, I don't wanna say super clear, but I think that it's kind of cool that it's like, what is the relationship between these two people? But when I did it, I sort of thought about it as like, she is kind of like a figment of his imagination, you know, like he's kind of going insane. He's like seeing her, you know? But who knows? Interpret it as you will. That's how I see it. But, um, wow, what sick choreo. How, like, what a great blend of, like, being super, like, robotic and clean cut and also flowy. Um, yeah, that dance is so nostalgic. It brings so many things back. I'm going to stop talking about it. I don't want to hear what the judges have to say about it because I'm really curious. I My forgot. Name. Oh, contact. I was wearing white contacts this whole time. Completely forgot about that. Made it hard to see. Little itchy. Never worn contacts before in my life, but I'm not complaining. Great time. Dance over the cuckoo's nest. All righty. What a great way to start off our Halloween night. 
My mom. Love you, Bob. It feels really weird watching this. I feel very grateful sitting here right now watching this and just re you know in that moment it's like so overwhelming you really can't soak it in you're you're, you're just your blood's pumping your heart's racing just watching all those people clap and smile really just warms my heart right now and means so much to me and looking back at this 17 year old kid i'm like rooting for him because it's like such a crazy experience and he's just thrown into it and it yeah, you did good, kid. I'm proud of you. But seriously, okay, you're handling it well, this is a Maya. dance I felt really passionate about. I put a lot of work into this one. This was a hard week for us, yeah. but we've really pushed this week, and I think it showed. What was different for you? Well, I mean, I get guy. it. Getting into character is really fun, but you guys, this looked professional. It was awesome. I think it's different because it goes against everything I thought I knew and that I learned on this show. You know, I'm supposed to keep my toes straight. She's like, no, flex it. I'm like, okay. And then... Second, I got to keep my posture up. She's like, no, bend over. Yeah. So I, I was relearning a whole thing here. Well, that's really interesting because when I look back on it, the contemporary dance was the one dance where I could like let go and not have to worry about that stuff. But in the moment, I guess I was so in the world of Dancing with the Stars that it was hard for me to, to forget all of that. But looking back on it, it's a blessing. Yeah, yeah we need a towel too. I, I think you're going to enjoy this. Let's see what the judges thought. Here's a towel. Carrie Ann Inabe. It's a 10. Len Goodman. I want to celebrate him. Nice. I'm just so nervous I'm going to get blood on Whitney. <laughs> I know the costume team would be really mad at me for getting blood on her dress. Um, okay. Wow. I'm really, really happy I watched that video today. Um... I miss Dancing with the Stars. You know, I learned so much about dancing and just like, you know, I, I built such a better work ethic on that show. But I think the thing that I got out of that show is just some amazing people in my life that I know to this day. Whitney's still in my life. Um, Alexis, I just saw recently. Alan, he's like a big brother to me. There are so many amazing people on that show and also that aren't on my season, you know? Um, Sochi, who just won. I saw her last night with Harry Jowsey and we were able to connect and say hello and just you know it's a nice little family and we'll always have that even the juniors you know Ariana Greenblatt it's it's great and uh yeah I will always be happy to go back to Dancing with the Stars and watch some eager person try something really scary and new because I know that, you know, being on that show is super nerve wracking, but the best part is you're all in that boat together and you can all sort of be clowns together. But yeah, thank you so much for coming back to LCR. Um, once again, keep the positivity up, keep the vibes up. I love you all so much. And thanks for watching me watch my own dance. That's super conceited of me, but please subscribe. And I promise in the future, I'll watch other stuff that isn't me. Um, mwah, love you all so much. Just be kind. Peace.